Like that. you say you started like really uh since I've been uh young back in uh run DMC days. Oh, okay, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Back when we uh DJ Rail, yeah, yeah. we had a group, it used to be uh DJ Rail was our DJ, uh Freaky D. Yeah. He was one of the rappers and my partner BDI. Okay. He was uh he was one of the rappers. Okay. DJ Rail and then yeah. I was like kinda like the manager in them days. Right, right, right. And my mama if I'd be good, she'd go to Rainbow Records and buy me a record. Okay. Back in the days the LPs used to be like twelve dollars and then you can get the single yeah, yeah. for like I think seven ninety nine. Oh okay. So yeah, I used to, yeah. every week I'd get a single for yeah. sure. But if I be good I might get the whole L P. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I be I became the supplier really. Right, right. Like I got all the records. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. I kinda had the DJ equipment and my other two partners rap. Right. So after that it just kinda like we was already into in music. motion, getting it right. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So what's the what's the furthest you guys ever went out to go do a show? Like any other, any other uh, countries? No, uh, no, we never. Mm -hmm. I never, you know, got to make it out to no other countries. Cause mm -hmm. like I said, I always been into crime, so they yeah, always yeah, never sure. let us get no, no passports. Like I said, I went to jail when I was uh, young. Yeah. So by the time I got out, we was already on federal parole. Oh yeah, you can't do one. So what, what was you in the pen with Dre? Yeah, Come me there. and Dre went to jail together in Fresno. Okay. Me, him, and Diggs. Okay. We had a, a conspiracy of bank robbery, and then you know. Back robbery, so. How long did y'all go down for? I did uh, close to nine. Dre did about like six. Diggs did about close to about eleven, twelve. Okay. Like did y'all say did any of our share sales or anything? Yeah, me and Dre stuff. We did everything. Like I said, right. me, me and Dre first started in Fresno. We did our we did we went to Fresno. Then we fought our trial. Like we did like about five, fifteen months in Fresno. Right. Then they came and picked us up and went to Kern County. Did like four months in Kern County, and they took us to NBC in LA. Did like three months out there, then they finally sent us to Lompoc. Man, they was just bouncing around, bouncing us. Right. We were like, "Cutty, this shit is crazy." Shackled <laughs> up, we young nigga. We like, man, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is over our head. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But they kept us together for the, me, and then we finally got to LA. They sent him to another floor and kept me on the eighth floor where I was at. Right, right. And then, then we finally met up in Lompoc. Oh, yeah. And we all got to came to Lompoc. Right. Started with me and Dre, and then Ray came, then Big Don, then Freaky D, and Baby Rod, B, you know what I'm saying? Oh, right. The whole romp down there. Every nigga that was getting locked up was down there. We was right there. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any, any like crazy stories while you was in there with Dre? Like Hell yeah. Uh, this used to be hella shit because you know we uh we used to like play uh sports and shit you know what I'm saying so, we was coming off the street young niggas you know what I'm saying off for a little sport career so uh my first uh day there you know they had a little team it was called the Mandelas it's like all the best niggas <laughs> the best yeah, yeah the best niggas you know, <laughs> you know that's from the country every yeah. every state you know right, they're right. on one team so I'm I'm like I I know I can play right. I never really saw Drake play. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know he said he can play, so I never really, you know, we, when we got older, we was already selling dope, so we right, weren't right. playing sports right. no more, but we all come from sports. Right. So, we get in there, first day I go out, I'm playing, I go trial for second base. First ball come to me, that motherfucker eat me up. I'm like, oh shit! So you know after you get ate up, you, your mind ain't right, man. I'm talking every other one was eating me up. I'm like, damn, I'm way better than this. I look at weak. Man, it's so Dre out in left field. Man, they hit a deep one. This nigga run. I seen run take off. Right. This motherfucker catch it over his shoulder. Oh, he was wrong. Man, I, never, I couldn't believe it. I oh, said, man, how the hell right. this nigga do this shit? I ain't never right. saw this shit. Listen so he done made it. He come in doing all the, the shit. <laughs> man, Cuddy, man, you just got to keep your head in the game. I was like, man, what's up? I said, Cuddy, you trying to say you better than me? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm just saying, you gotta keep your head in the game. <laughs> and he was like, he kept saying, Frazier barbecue, bitch. You know, that's how we say at the end of the word. We're gonna say, bitch. So I'm like, I'm like, man, how this nigga. He was raw. Yeah. So, long story short, we go to the next thing. I finally get there and get my shit back. I make the team. Man, we get the plan in the season. He nothing like that first shit. Like, he was drunk after was he? Oh, his mind wasn't, I don't know if his mind wasn't in it, right, right, right. but that nigga used to be fucking bullshit out there. I swear the ball come to him, that nigga, it'd be a fly ball. 
He'll run up, run back. Right. He be doing hell and shit. I'm like, is he gonna catch this motherfucker? Right. And he'll finally position. catch it. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Like, man, this is hella nerve wracking. Right, right, right. I'm, I'm like, man, Cuddy, what the fuck wrong? He's like, Cuddy, I feel like a joystick was controlling me. I said, what? <laughs> man, you out there bullshit, right. Cuddy. Right. And then he'd be out there talking to hella people. Right. The ball would come go over his head, he'd be talking. He never took it serious. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, this nigga. And then he'd hit a ball, say he hit a double. Right. He gonna get a long single. Right. Cause he gonna run all the way around the base. And then go back and check it. I'm like, man, this nigga was uh, everything he did yeah. was like hella animated. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. And then one time we played, uh, we had this football team. He a receiver, and he got this team called the Jaguars, the Bloods. It ain't nobody never ain't scored on him in like three, four years. Oh, it was raw. So nobody ain't scored on. Him. Right, right. They killing us. Right. <laughs> I was about my forty or nothing. Yeah, he was dying. Crashed, we ain't tripping. We dying. They yeah, killed us. Yeah, yeah. Nobody beat him, so yeah, we ain't tripping. Yeah, like, they they smashed us. Man, this nigga Drake, go out. I see it. I'm on. I'm, we dead. I'm. They didn't whoop me all day. I threw me everywhere. Man, they throw a bomb. I see Drake running, but I see the dude, the safety girl, catch it. I'm like, that's an interception. Man, dude went up to catch it, but he missed it. And Dre ended up catching the motherfucker oh. and burnt them motherfuckers for yeah, a touchdown. Got a there. Man, yeah. got a touchdown. Yeah. First touchdown against these niggas in three. Right. Oh, he was wrong for that. Man, man, how he did, how first, he first he did the uh, Eki Shuffle, <laughs> then that nigga did the centipede. Damn. <laughs> They were yeah, so mad. And we picked that nigga up and, ch and carried him off the field. Shit, I would have like, we won. They were like, y'all didn't win. We was like, nigga, we don't want to score with y'all niggas. Yeah, like, we, we won. won. Y'all talking about nobody scored. Man, I couldn't believe it. That motherfucker out there blew up the smoke. Drake come running. Hey, that's and and burnt him for like 40 yards. He did the icky shovel yeah. and the set of feet. <laughs> they were hella mad. I was <laughs> cracking up. We was like, man, that nigga. <laughs> Picked that nigga up and walked off, and off the crowd. <laughs> he he was the centipede, though. That's a yeah, they was like, it was 40 uh, to 6. Yeah, right? Like, nobody that. never scored on y'all. We the first yeah, motherfucker to score. Fuck it, that's a victory right there. Yeah, yeah, he nigga. came through when they least expected. Drake came through when right. they least expected. Right. 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 He used to be hella funny. Everything he used to do, I'm telling you. Yeah, he was like a, uh, yeah, that's why yeah, I used to man. call him like Silky Slim and shit. Silky Slim. Yeah, that's my AKA, he said. Yeah. Really, it come from like, he used to, uh, that nigga started getting a perm. And they ain't making a pin, you know, you gotta make white. Right. So these motherfuckers had rollers, but they was pink and light blue yeah, rollers. Yeah, yeah, like the lady was old. Like yeah, that. so that's what they gave you. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. Them yeah. niggas wearing, and he used to wear that shit like all week. Yeah. We like, Cuddy, why you fuck you wearing that shit so much? That shit ain't cool. He's like, yeah. Cuddy, I'm setting my hair. I'm like, man, fuck all that <laughs> stupid shit, man. Right, right. And he used to be having his hair, he used to be silky and yeah. shit. Yeah. But him and his little uh, pimp nigga from Frisco used to fuck with each other. Like, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So they used to be. Trying to get them with pimp game. Man, but... they used to be having their shit together. They was like smooth niggas and uh -huh. shit. So they were like silky slim. Yeah, I heard that a couple of times he mentioned that. That nigga was fly as fuck in the pen. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was in the rapping and shit too, freestyling. Like. Man, nah, really, that it was him. So it, he used to be him and my nigga Spice from mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Manor and shit. He we, he was raw too. So when uh, hella niggas that come in a pen, any nigga we used to take to the band room. Mm -hmm. Drake's to eat they ass. Yeah, right. I care where they from? So it was my nigga from L.A. This nigga named Zulu. He was competitive. He used to be like, I got another nigga for Dre now. Bring him to the band room. He gonna eat Dre. We go get him Dre. Eat that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Every nigga. So that's, that was our shit, Dre. So then we used to do shows in there and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was, you know, the pen was like keeping, you know what I'm saying? Just like keeping it, everyone focused on that. It'd be some old niggas in there sounding like the Temptations. Yeah, right? I swear to God, they have a deep voice nigga, they have a nigga with that low voice, like the whole the whole shebang. Yeah, and they be dance they have on khakis and they put glitter on the side of the motherfuckers like the, the Swear to God and be performing. What? They do the moves. Hey, and, yeah, they like sound like them what? They sound like them Why niggas. Not? They yeah, got yeah. the high pitch nigga. You know the nigga that got the white boys? That shit's amazing. Like, yeah. You have the David Ruffin. They yeah, the David nigga, Ruffin. Up. Eddie Kendrick, the Paul, and all the niggas, man. I swear that's to God. Cool. And they'd be performing. Dope. We used to perform. Oh, we dope. have our hoodies in. Right, right. And Dre be up there, so we, that shit was in the pen. So when, we was, when did you know Dre was dope at rapping? When did everybody know? I tell him we was, and they came with Too Hard for the Radio. Mm -hmm. It was a rap. So yeah, we was like, no, this nigga the nigga. Right. Fresh out of Fox. We was like, he got out of Fox. I really, like, the Cuddies already was doing their thing. They was already, like, 
had the rock that we already had, you know what I'm saying, E B the Dad, you know, they called it Daddy of the Hood. He already had like the crew set. Right. Nigga like, Ray, Wags, uh it was G B, Big Dot, Peanut, them niggas was already on winners. So when me and Cleek and, and them come already, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They already there had it lit, so we just added right. came into the crew. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was already lit. That was that was definitely one of my favorite. So when I got there, Dre was already went to Fox. Okay. So about the time him getting out of on the furlough, that's when I was there. Mm. But I was already we already all from the crest, but we all went hanging on Leonard. Mm. So that kind of like E B kind of like brought us all to Leonard, smoking weed, selling dope. So we, yeah. we all came. What when did he when was he recording them songs in the pen? Like because I know he was doing like he did the uh, he did a C, a CD when he was in uh, Fresno County. Oh, okay. So that was the first one uh, he did back in the hood. Mm -hmm. okay. You know and. That was where they had to play. I don't know how they did that shit. They probably put phones together. Yeah, yeah, they you know, they probably do it easier now. But so when we he told us he was like, "Cut him and I uh, did a, a CD." You know, yeah, he was going. We were still going to court and trial. Right, right, right. Yeah. He was going crazy in there. He was hard because yeah, we were yeah. telling him about the shit, you know. Because right. nigga was all we was trying to do was get back to the crest, right, the hood. Right, right. We wanted to be back in the hood. That's so that was like perfect, right on time. So everything. So we was innocent because we went to trial. That was our yeah, whole right, thing. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You know? Until now, you know, when you get older, you like, oh shit, you don't even want to think you're innocent. Everybody else sees what the fuck you're doing and right. shit, but I still be thinking I'm innocent. I still hard for me to even talk about that shit. Right. You know, Diggs, you know, yeah. that's my, you know, he more vocal with that shit. Right. You know, he just say he robbed and he don't give a fuck. Right. Right. You know. And then even with them, with all the old Romper Room CDs, all the, all the early doobie shit, yeah. like, it just seemed like y'all was having have a fun recording all that shit. You we know was, what I mean? it, it, you know? we was living in, in the moment. Yeah, it's right. like, this is how we really living. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's what, and that's what's the difference. Like, even I uh, tell my, you know, my son, you know what I'm saying? They, they different, though. They, they doing their little rap thing, but it was different when we were right. doing our shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was we was like, sure. living in it. We were really in the moment. Yeah, you, know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Different generations, you feel me? But, we were really selling crack yeah. and, 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 and going then to then a show and like, man, we got crack on us at a right show. <laughs> I'll sell dope at a show. Right, right. I'll yeah. say, I got crack on me. You want yeah. to be like, more. I'm serving. I crack. jump off the stage. Yeah, right. Go bust a knock on it. Yeah, right. Quickly. Right. Yeah. Deep what, yeah. Maybe I got to go. Maybe That's I what we was really, go. we was really deep boys, and then, then we, and then we, the, like the time before we went to jail, we started robbing banks. So right. we was coming to stage bank robbers. Right, right, right. So we was, we was mingling in a world that they weren't, they didn't know what the fuck they was dealing with. Right, right. I was on a whole different level. But Dre was yeah. really hard. He was like, this yeah. nigga hard like the two pops. Cause we right, was doing right. shows oh, and the yeah, pop yeah. was on, you know, we was on, on the time with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, Dre you was... Meet pop and stuff? We, yeah, we, we knew pop. We did a uh, show in the jungle and shit. And, uh, and it kind of went, it, it went, it went different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they, they jungle dudes be tripping. Yeah. So we, we got into a little, a little uh, it was kind of like a little altercation kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we was kind of like, we pocket did a uh, came to the Nettles and and performed at the Nettles and then we, you know he was like you know it was cool yeah. you know we know your song we gonna be cool right, 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 right. so but when we went to the jungle it was kind of it was different right, right. you know what I'm saying so it, it, it happened one of my partners had got into one of they folks and you know a little a little scuffle so by the time we got on stage they had found their partner that already you know, got into my partner. They was tripping. Right, was so they was yelling the jungle. The right, jungle. Right. The jungle. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> like, man, these dudes, they tripping. So we got on stage and they the jungle. We like the crest, you know, they like the jungle. Like, Fuck the rock room. We like, oh these niggas tripping. <laughs> and we like, man, Tupac get left. Right. We like, oh, you ain't you let your folks do this. Right. So we and I'm like, we like, oh man, Pac did some bullshit. Right. You know, and back in them days, true. everything like a whole yeah. city get you get blamed, you blame, get blamed for the whole thing. Right, right. Like if one nigga do it, the whole you, the whole city you did the shit. Right, yeah, right. So you want just you no know, sections of, of a, you know, a Richmond, right. it's Richmond. It was Frisco, it's Frisco. It wasn't, you know, wasn't divided. Oakland, Oakland. You ain't gonna say no neighborhood. No, you gonna say Oakland dudes. Yeah. You gonna say Frisco dudes. You yeah. gonna say Richmond dudes. Yeah. So we like the Moran dudes. Right. Them nigga, Tupac was tripping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> niggas start saying they was tripping. They was tripping. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, until we and then they got one way and one way out. Oh, okay. So you gotta go all the way around to get out they shit. So lucky my partner about time us going out, my partner had a little pistol and bat, 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 and got him off of us for two right, seconds right. to get us to get in the car. Right, right. 
Them niggas was jumping over fences and everything. Oh, yeah. We was like, oh, yeah, pocket full of shit. Yeah, right? Yeah, but we, you know, ain't never got cool at it, but he was, we was like, that's, that's some bullshit. Yeah, that's some bullshit. He set us up for failure. Come on, but y'all made it out alive. We made it like a yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. And then our other partners was going in. They had to get into the end, to get out. It was, it was, it was, we that's had to get, it was, hell yeah.